Hey, it's me, Team Feral, back from Three of Skill with a little update for my scatter tool. So, um, the scatter tool has now a little bit more functionalities. So, the scatter tool is a tool with which you can scatter object onto a service. And um, I think the scatter tool was introduced for the, uh, the first time, um, I think it was in version 25, so all versions below don't have a scatter tool, so I recreated this scatter tool for versions below 25 and to get the feel of a scatter tool. And it's compatible with version R19 up to version 2023. Uh, I think it also should work with R18 maybe, but I'm not sure I didn't test it. So um, let's dive right away into Cinema 4D to have a look what the scatter tool does. So here back in Cinema 4D, I prepared a small scene. I created a landscape object. This is my service object onto, onto I, uh, on which I want to scatter the object. And now I need a scatter object. I load in here a stone for just for example and resize it a little bit. Um, I scale it a little bit that it fits a little bit better. And now I want to scatter the stone and put it into the scatter object. I make the scatter object invisible so that, that I can render it. And now I choose my landscape, the object on which I want to scatter the objects and call the scatter object. And it automatically puts uh, the landscape object into the service object, uh, service link here. If you do not select any object, it just uh, uh, let's this uh, let this uh, link thing uh, empty and you have to drag and drop it manually Then I switch to multi instances and put in the objects I want to scatter in this case the stone you can put in multiple objects So it's like a cloner it, it, it very varies a little bit the the yeah, distribution of the objects and then I simply yeah Have to call remove guides because he automatically makes a uh, one guide and then I call the scatter tool. I can call it now from from directly from the scatter tool, and he automatically sets uh, jumps uh, activates the tool add guides and sets it length to 0.1. Uh, this needs a little bit of length because uh, otherwise it doesn't uh, reckon uh, doesn't take care of the normal vector. So you need a little bit of length, but just. A millimeter or something like that and you simply can begin to draw here in this case I draw here now the stones you can see minimal spacing I just start to draw here objects and now go back to my scatter tool and I can here adjust the offset a little bit look to camera in this case I do not I don't need you you need it if you use billboards or something then you can use look to camera and random on off I want to verify a little bit the randomize a little bit the uh, very little bit the uh, objects here the distribution I check the random on off and I want to randomize the size and you can see here I randomize a little bit the size here and also the rotation I randomize the rotation rotation sorry and here's the new parameter, the avoid on off. So you can avoid it by hiding or by scaling, as you can, as you know it, but from the um, Python um, uh, MoGraph effector. So turn on avoid, and if you check it, you avoid it by hiding. And oh, what's wrong here with this? You avoid it by hiding, or or if you uncheck it by scaling. So in this case, I use here scaling. And maybe I draw a little bit more. Simply call the scatter from here. You don't need it on the, on the toolbar. Simply call here and draw a little bit more of the stones here in this case. And increase a little bit this thing. And, and you can also increase a little bit here this button. So it looks pretty. It looks a bit... Yeah, he, he now distributes the objects by cloning them alternately. So this is pretty cool if you want to scatter more objects in an, another way. So you simply call uh, the scatter tool again, 
drag and drop maybe a tree, trees and scatter them or, or grass or something like that. So this is the new update of the scatter tool. I hope you have fun and also maybe um, have a look to my Windows plugin for Cinema 4D with which you can create windows for Cinema 4D. Um, it's also compatible with version R19 up to version 23. And in this week, uh, I'm working on an update at the moment. And there is, yeah, it's upcoming maybe um, uh, this week or next week. So for all purchase who already purchased the plugin, the Windows plugin, all, always get um, the the new version for free. So you have a download time, I think tw uh, one year, unlimited downloads. And if the time is expired, um, yeah, you, you, I send you an, an, a circular email with new update. So it's important that you provide the correct email address when you purchase it. So yeah, I hope you had fun. I wish you a nice day again and yeah, see you later. <laughs>